I know you played in the three on three in Kazakhstan. Uh huh. Did pretty well. Made the turn, team of turn of the tournament or something like that. Yeah, I mean, we we didn't really get the the way we wanted to get. Like we only came fourth, which really sucked. Like the competition there was really good, but uh, yeah, I was able to do pretty well, and I had a really good team as well. But uh, it sucked coming fourth. Obviously, you really want to get at least a medal, sure. and uh, yeah, but it's all good. How much basketball did you work on this summer? Oh, I worked on everything. You know. Uh, over summer, it's just a lot of work. You do a lot of conditioning, a lot of working out, uh, weight room and stuff like that. So we did a lot of a lot of it. Did you have a plan when the summer started? What you wanted to work on? Maybe Coach Cal talked to you a little bit about what you needed to work on. Yeah, he really just wanted me to focus on getting in the best shape I can be in. You know, um, being able to run up and down the court as fast as I can. Obviously, like uh, being able to keep fit and uh, being in shape. So. Talk to me a little bit about coming in in the middle of the season last year in December, walking in, starting to practice with the guys. What type of a basketball education did you gain? Yeah, I mean, being able to come in that early and uh, Richard in that first half year was just really, really good for me. I was able to be able to see the way everyone was working and, and the way everyone was coaching and, and everything like that. So it was a lot of experience for me, I guess. Yeah. You almost burned the red shirt. I know the story's out that, that I think Cal came to you at one point and said you want to go in. Yeah. Let's talk about it a little bit. Are you glad you didn't go in, or do you see is there some part of you that wishes you had? I mean, I really wanted to play at the same time. It's like I was so close to going in, and uh, nah, yeah, it, it, it sucked not being able to play. And but I, at the same time, I knew that if I wanted to uh, get better, I would have to stay out and hopefully have an extra year in case I wanted to use it. Mm -hmm. What do you think about this year? Are you, are you, are we going to see Ty Winyard on the floor? Yeah, definitely. I'm, I'm going to go get you some rebounds this year and then some, some, uh, some big screens and stuff like that. So, yeah. I know you've talked about you feel like one of your strength is, oddly enough, strength. Mm -hmm. You can post up and move people around and clear out a little space in there. Is that what you work on a lot in practice and what you're planning to show UK fans when you get in? Yeah, obviously uh, with Kenny Payne being our coach, he's, he's a really good big coach and uh, he really gets us working down in the, in the block and, and love finishing and stuff like that. Just having that touch around the rim. So yeah, I'm really working on that and uh, being able to gain my strength. Tell me a little bit about what Coach Payne and you work on uh, specifically. Uh, I mean, offensive move, defense, both, rebounding? It's everything. Like, he has everything into one, even conditioning. Like he, he's just, he's all around kind of. He's just a really good coach, and he's able to push us to our limits and stuff like that. So, yeah. About that conditioning. Uh -huh. Did you find out what conditioning really means? Yeah. As soon as I got to Kentucky, I mean, the, you just really find out how crazy it is. It really is. You know, like, um, uh, as soon as I got here, I found out how. Uh, NCAA basketball and, and college basketball really is, you know, like it's just a lot of running and athletic players and fit players. So, yeah, it was really an eye opening experience. What's been the cultural change for you coming from Auckland to Lake? I know you spent a, uh, some time in, uh, in uh, Indiana, was it? No, I went down uh, to, I went up to Wisconsin. Wisconsin? Yeah. What about Lexington, Kentucky? How have you found that as far as the, the student atmosphere and the, the resident atmosphere? Now you're a resident for the school year. Yeah, uh, I'm, obviously it's a really nice place and uh, the people there are really nice people and uh, I love the scenery and there's a lot of trees that remind me of home. The only difference is probably the snow and, and then driving on the other side of the road. But uh, definitely it's kind of like Wisconsin, I've gone there a lot, you know, my dad, world championship competing and and all that stuff, so going up there and being able to see him was pretty cool as well, so yeah. Are you still chopping in trees? Me? Yeah. I mean, yeah, I chopped one. I chopped a couple of blocks when I was up there with him. He kind of showed me how to chop them. It's on my Instagram if you want to have a look, but uh, yeah. How about the academic part? Are you getting out of school what you want to get out of it right now? Um, yeah, I'm really just trying to focus on my academics right now. No, no, I'm not actually. Sorry, cut that out. Okay. I'm really trying to uh, get really good grades this year and get all my classes, and then I'm really trying to excel on that. So, yeah. Anything that the UK fans you'd like to say to the UK fans? This experience coming in and getting all this attention and adoration, basically from Big Blue Nation, that has to be different from 
any type of fandom you've ever seen. Yeah, definitely. Uh, the BBN are just a, a really, really passionate group of people, and it's just uh, it's amazing how many people there are and that are fans of the UK basketball team and UK sports teams. You know, it's just it's just a really cool fan base, and they're really, really, really passionate about what they believe in. Well, I know they really got excited when you joined the team in mm -hmm. December last year, and there were several articles written in several outlets. And people seem to devour the news about Ty Winyard. Is there anything you'd like to tell the fans that maybe they don't know about? Maybe we didn't uncover last year. Um, I think you uncovered it all, like seriously. <laughs> I thought wood chopping would be hard to find out about me, but you, you guys seem to find that straight away. So, I mean, um, having social media and and all those kind of outlets now, it's, it's hard to hide anything in your life, you know? So really, you know all about me, all about my family. I have two, a brother and a sister, and my mom and my dad, and, and uh, you all know about that, so. And the visit home, it's good to go home this summer. Oh yeah, it was really cool to see my, uh, my family. I went up north and saw my, my granddad before he passed, and, and that was really cool. So um, yeah, it was just a lot of fun to be able to go home and spend time with them. You have to really want to to make a 30-hour trip. Though. Oh, yeah, 30-hour <laughs> trip was a long time, but it was worth it. I only spent about two weeks home, so it was, it was pretty hard to go 30 hours there, 30 hours back, but uh, it was a lot of fun.